Kilimanjaro, 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 I think it was a, a confrontation with myself that I didn't, I didn't expect. For me, I think that the, the value of the of doing this was, you know, beyond the obvious of you know, nice scenery and you know, sort of all the things that you can see on postcards. It was really sort of the battle with with my body, the battle with myself, and actually to realize how far I can go b beyond the point that I thought was the barrier. I think that for me was just a revelation and something that I probably take forward and probably something that, you know, I will hopefully remember, sort of muscle memory type of thing, hopefully remember and take forward into the, to the, you know, to other things in my life. It was obviously a very trying and difficult for myself at my age. Uh, I did an amount of training. I don't think it was sufficient, but we persevered and with a lot of help from the other travellers and from the staff especially, they, they were very good, I thought. I did eventually manage to reach the, the top, which I think is quite an achievement. And Looking back on it now, I can say I enjoyed it. I think it was great to push yourself as far as you could um, and have some fun at the same time. So I think the whole thing from start to finish has been great. That's the biggest highlight. They would wake us with coffee, and you know they already been up an hour when you just barely opened your eyes. You know, like that. Th there were so many moments like that of like human warmth I felt coming from the team members. Um, that was also highlights, I think. And there were many of them that just you know. Sometimes it was the coffee. Sometimes it was you know, Francis holding my wife and to make sure to make sure she's all right and so on and so forth. <laughs>